Postman is still the most used API client out there. I mean, they make enough to have T-Pain at their conferences for some reason. And we also have Insomnia, which went down a similar path. Recently though, I started using Bruno and it's the best. I'm not just saying that because its logo is the founder's dog and a great pun on scaring the postman and fetching. I'm saying that because it does exactly what I need it to and more, all while being open source, made for offline use, and it doesn't require me to log into anything. Now, when you open it up, you'll get a familiar interface. You can do all the normal things you would expect in here, creating requests, using variables, creating environments, all typical features of an API client. So what sets it apart? Well, to add context to the next few features, it's worth mentioning that manifesto. Their main goals are to have no proprietary version control, just use whatever you want to. They want for collections to be in the project's repository files and for those files to be readable and editable by a human. And lastly, they never ever want cloud sync. They make an important note of that. Starting out with the collections then, this to me is one of the coolest features it has. When you create a collection and request, it will create a folder and file for that. This means that you can go in and edit it with code if you want to, even including a VS Code extension for syntax highlighting. But it also means that storing this and using it across your team is super easy. All you need to do is add it to gear. There's no proprietary cloud system as they said. The integration of the file system extends even further though. It can actually use .env files in that collection folder to load these in for you. I like this because it just keeps it all in one neat place. Another cool thing you can do here is create a package.json and install any NPM library and you're able to use that in any of your request scripts. Like if I needed Faker for example, I can just install that and get to using it in my JavaScript. And again, it's all stored in that .brew file as well. Using NPM modules is something that requires a lot of effort to do on Postman with some weird workarounds. It has some awesome developer experience features too. You can use declarative scripting to update your post response variables by using a simple expression. This is something that you have to script out on Postman as well. It also supports declarative assertions as well, making testing super easy. Instead of scripting them out, you can simply assert simple expressions with access to the response object. And guess what? Again, it's all stored in that brew file. Another benefit it has over Postman is collection run limits. It doesn't have any. Postman has a cap on the free and basic plan of 25 runs a month. In Bruno, you can just keep running them. This can even be done with a CLI tool. You can run all your API collections using simple commands. It's as easy as installing an NPM package, and this gives you a nice printout on the CLI, including the test results. That's the key features that I've absolutely been loving about Bruno, and I wanna stress that they are all open source and completely free. Bruno does have a pay tier, however, which may cause some confusion. In it, you get some more features like a Git UI, collection iterations, and open API generation, but the founder actually has a whole Git thread on why he did this. I'll leave that in the description below, but long story short, he's now full-time on the project, believes in sustainable open source, and has rejected a lot of VC offers already. To round it all off though, nothing's truly perfect, so what's missing in Bruno compared to Postman? Well, it doesn't yet have request chaining the same way Postman does, but this can actually be solved with scripting. Obviously, it just takes a little bit more effort. I've also heard that OAuth 2 takes a little more scripting than Postman would. It doesn't have flows, which is Postman's visual editor, and it also doesn't have mocks to simulate API servers themselves. It's also missing some of those new AI features that Postman keeps coming out with, although to me, that's kind of a plus. To me, Bruno is the most lightweight, easy to use API client that suits all of my needs. It doesn't ask me for an account, doesn't need me to be online and it doesn't run my requests through a proxy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. While you're there, subscribe for more. And hey, if you like cool dev tools, check out Orbstack for Docker on Mac and I'll see you in the next one.